What's up guys, welcome to this new video. We have talked already about how to make cuts, like technically, but a lot of people ask me how I make my cuts, like timing wise on a field and how I see where the space is gonna be. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna look at some examples. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how I do my cuts and how I see where the space is gonna be. If this video reaches 200 likes, I will do another analysis on whatever topic you want, whether that be uh, hooks, uh, reading a disc, uh, I don't know, you can name it. Um, and if this reaches 200 likes, I will do it. So uh, smash the like button. So without any further ado, let's start with the first example. So as you guys can see, we're at a horizontal uh, position, some kind of horizontal, uh, it's a bit bent, but that's okay. Um, and I'm here, and here is the other uh, wing. Uh, of course, uh, basic principle is, is the, the, if the disc is on this side, uh, these two guys have to work together. We're gonna start our cuts together. He is gonna make an undercut. And I'm gonna go deep a little um, to create some space here because if he goes under until here and I go deep until here, this is where the space is gonna be. So I go deep, create some space, he gets the disc. And the moment he gets the disc, I turn back and go under and it's an easy option. So as you can see, he gets it here. The space is now here. Uh, this timing was not completely perfect because I went deep a little too long, but nevertheless it turned out great. So uh, as you can see, I make my cut under and it's an easy pass for him, completely in the open space. Like this. Okay, then on the other hand, we have um, another example. Um, we're again in a horror position. Um, the disc is in the middle, so now the middle two are gonna be working together. So that's me here and then Seba here, my teammate. Seba will make a cut, but will not get it. Uh, as you can see here, he doesn't get it. And instead of like also making a cut here, where there are already a lot of people, um, I don't do it. Uh, because I also see the handler is already looking at the second handler. Um, but I know if Seba is gonna go away, and he's gonna go away because you don't make a cut and stay at the same place. So he's gonna go away and then the space will be here in the middle. I also see my man is like uh, defending me very deep. Uh, so I don't even have to make a cut to be free. So as you will see, the handler passes to the next handler. And as I've said, the space is completely in the middle because Seba is clearing very well. I just make a little shimmy and I have all the space under. So let's see it again. I just do a little shimmy and I'm free under. Up, bang, and the under is completely free. And then you have a completely open playing field uh, with a lot of space over here. Okay, then next example, um, we're in some kind of horror. I think it was after a fall or something, uh, but as you can see, like the horizontal stack is a bit here. He was making an undercut. Uh, I'm here, I come back from a deep cut. As you can see, I'm already like talking a bit to him. I know he will clear. So where is the space gonna be? Of course, this part of the field is gonna be completely free. So that's also where I'm gonna make a cut. Of course, you have to look really good um, that this defender is following him enough. Uh, you can only start your cut when you're sure this one is not going to be poaching here because then you make a useless cut. Um, as you can see, he goes away until here. I make preparation cut um, to take my man a bit more infield. So I ran from here until here and then I strike in the open space. It's the break side, but it's an easy thrower for an handler, as you see, easy pause. The timing on this was quite good um, because the handler, from the moment the handler looked upfield, uh, I was there as an uh, option to throw. So let's look at it again. Voila. Pretty good, if I may say so. So that were the examples for the uh, horizontal stack. So now we're gonna go on to the examples for the vertical stack because it's a bit of a different uh, story. Okay, so it's really messy, but um, this is the position. Uh, we have vertical stack here a bit. I'm coming back from a cut, he's going back to the stack. Um, the swing just came from him to him. 
uh, and I see, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm looking back, uh, he's gonna be clearing, but I wait long enough until his defender is really going with him, because that's an easy poach for a defender. And from the moment uh, he's far enough into the stack again, uh, this space is gonna be open. Uh, luckily, they have some kind of miscommunication and uh, the mark, uh, they do an FM mark, so to the middle, but the marker sets the wrong mark, uh, so this is an easy pass for the, for the handler. Um, I am here, I'm looking for the right moment to come back. So as you can see, at this moment, he's far enough, you see his defender is really following him really tightly, and I'm here, so I'm gonna make a cut under. Uh, and then you know you're gonna be free in the open space and it's gonna be an easy pass like this up and that's like an easy gainer of like 10 15 meters okay you're at the sideline but you give some you take some so here we have uh, a pool coming in uh, this is all from the game against uh, Clapham by the way in EUCF um, so we have the pool coming in it was centered from here to here to the central handler um, so what my way of thinking is of course we had a play um, what which we spoke about in the beginning uh, of the point um, and I know I have to get free as a first one so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna look uh, to the handling and from the moment the pass to the center comes I start to prepare my cut so what I do is I'm gonna be looking at my defender see what he gives me if he defends me deep in this case he defends me deep um, i know the under will be free and if he defends me under i can go deep um, which rarely happens by the way so i know the pass is on the way to the middle handler so i can start my cut i look at my defender and then of course as we all can see this space is going to be really free um, because I have a good chemistry with the central defender, which is Aaron van der Wege. Um, he knows I'm going to be here on time, so he just throws it uh, into the space. So let's have a look. at my. You see me looking at my defender. This is actually my defender, not this guy, but this one is my defender. I look at him, I see he's even leaning backwards. So if he wants to go to this space, he has to change his whole point of uh, gravity, so he's going to be too late. That's when I start my cut. As you can see at this moment, the handler just got the disc and he knows I'm going to be free here. So in one moment, as you can see, okay, the pause was not perfect, but that's okay. As you can see, my defender is here. So that's big separation. The thrower is already throwing into this space. So that's a perfect timing. We're going to watch it again um, in full speed uh, and then you'll see that the central handler Aaron van der Wege doesn't have to wait long to throw the pass, he can just catch it, turn around and throw it. And that's the timing we're looking for. So as you can see, hup, and the throw. Easy, perfect timing. So this is again from the same game, again same situation, the only difference is um, when I'm running towards the stack, I'm here, I'm looking at these guys and they are uh, really slow, so I know I won't, I won't even have to make a cut to be free. So the pass is coming from the uh, handler to the central handler, so I know the timing is good. They are still like 10-15 meters away, so I don't even make a cut, I just come out of the stack and here is where the space is, of course without a cut, just an easy pass. And that's a gainer of like 10 meters again, uh, which is good timing. If we look at it again in full speed, um, you'll see that the central defender, again, Aaron, doesn't have to wait, uh, doesn't have to wait for me. So he can just throw the pass in uh, one go. Voila. And then you have the whole playing field, you have a big uh, gap here again, so then you can start the play. But you made a lot of progress like in the first passes without any defense being on you. So guys, that was it for my short analysis of like uh, cutting, timing um, and like how to recognize the free spaces and what spaces are going to be free. So uh, I hope you liked this video. Uh, again, I said in the beginning of the video, if this reaches 200 likes, 
I make another analysis video on a topic you guys want. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel because we're growing massively and uh, let's make this a, a, a mission to become the biggest army in uh, Ultimate. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in the next one.